So what's her name again? Martha. Mm. Her other name. Marrero. Martha Marrero. Mm. Did Van Druten say when he'd find her? Or how? And what's the difference? When he finds her, he'll tell us what to do. I just hope it's soon. It's just all this waiting and not knowing. Dear Harold, there is a house at 219 Frederick Street. The house is owned by an old woman, but her grandson will answer the door. Inside you will find a trunk. What you're after is in that trunk. Because of his condition, the old woman keeps her grandson locked inside. So he may be a bit chatty. You, Harold? Yes, are you? I'm Billy. Billy Radcliffe. <laughs> well, people just call me Billy. Or Cliff. My parents were gonna name me Clarence, but then my grandfather died and his name was William, and so they figured, you know, that was the thing to do. My parents are dead, too. Plane crash. I wasn't there, but that's what they tell me. Not my parents, I mean, of course not. I mean, that'd be spooky. I, no. Oh, man, I hope that doesn't give me nightmares. I believe there's a trunk I'm supposed to look at. Right. 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 Yeah. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the right place. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself there. Yeah, come in. Come in. Are you thirsty? Because I can make iced tea. My grandmother makes fresh mint in the backyard. I'm not allowed to use the stove, but sometimes I do. You're not going to tell my grandmother, are you? I didn't think so. Man, I like you good already. You got a tie on. Come on in. Soon. She's not gonna like it if you're here. Oh man, would she be upset? At me too, you know, for letting you in. I mean, she's nice enough. I mean, she took me in when my parents died. They died in a plane crash, you know? Did you know that? They died in a plane crash. Yeah, you, you mentioned that. I did? Yeah. That it was a plane crash? Mm hmm. Oh, well. Well, it, it's right down there at the end of the hallway. It's that room. Right there. Okay. Yeah. But you gotta promise to hurry up and be quick. Whatever it is you gotta do. I don't know much about any of this. Actually, I don't know anything. You're the only one to come by since Higgins. Boy, was that a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. So, right down there? Yeah. Down there. Thanks.
thought you might be thirsty. So I went ahead and made that iced tea I told you about. Did you find what you're looking for? I think so. Say, it's pretty good iced tea. It's the mint. My grandmother grows it in the backyard. Billy! What is it? Merciful heavens. I told you to hurry. This is bad. This is real bad. Billy! Oh, oh, oh. You have to be right now, young man. Here, I can put everything away. No, no, there's no time for that. There's no time for, for, for any of that. She's gonna kill me. I just know it. Here, you, you gotta go out this way. Go. I can't explain. Just, just, just trust me. Wait, wait. You're my best friend. I never had a friend like you before. Me either. Really? Okay, go. Ah. Mrs. Berkowitz's Scottish Terrier was A-OK. -okay. In other news, a local resident called police late last night, claiming that a human giant had just been in his backyard and that he was scared. The caller was unsure if the giant was still in the area, and after an extensive search, the authorities were unable to locate the giant in question. Up next, Helen Jones joins us with her segment, What You Don't Know Can't Hurt You. Thank you. 